Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here for my art videos, this is the other thing that we do on this channel. We go out looking for birds. This robin is crazy loud. He must be right next to us. I don't see him. Usually, they're pretty easy to see. But it's probably the nicest day of the year. And there's no one in the woods. What is that? Just walk past the dog walker. I feel like I look silly with my camera. I don't like this. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, pond. Probably just gulls and stuff, but could be ducks, could be more hens. Oh, I don't know. I kind of just want to sit the pond on such a nice day as this. I just don't know how to end the intro. It is so, so slippery on this mud. It's all the soil here is just pure clay. Right beside it. Oh, nice tree. Ooh. What? That tree's crazy. Inch, 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 inch. everywhere saying it's deep water so I'm not gonna get any closer than that. Hey guys! They look curious yet almost disdainful. One in the back. The one at the front looks a little more demure. Ambivalent. That squeak was the moorhen that was running away from us just now. Hey guys! Yeah, this is where we are. And I'm gonna find a bench if there is one. Oh, there are ducks on the other side. There's no way you can see them. There's little dots over there. And we're gonna see what kind of ducks they are, I think. Me and duckies. Look at them. They're so mildly interested in me. What is up? They are right by the edge there. The phone doesn't show it very well, but they are two feet away. Haunted? He's safe enough. He feel, it feels safe enough that he can turn his back on me. That is something special. Mwah! A coot is coming over. A coot is coming over. Ooh, hold on. Look, a coot. Look at that. lost interest to be there leaving now. So I think that's our cue to find somewhere to sit. Coots, I, I see coots less often than moorhens. The difference between coots and moorhens are coots are a little bigger and they've got a white blob on the front of their nose. 
instead of a red one. I'm not sure this is a good idea. It's it's not jumpable. Not not one I would bet on jumping. Can I stand on this wooden thing? No, it's attached to nothing. That that wooden stick is attached to nothing. Okay, back we go. There were a group of people over over in the distance. I don't know why. I don't know if they were bird watchers or um, citizen scientists or something coming to check out the wildlife at the pond. But I would like to simply sit and look at the ducks on the other side. So I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to go back around this way and see if there's somewhere I can sit because the ground is so wet. It's actually raining a little bit. Look at that. Can you see the raindrops? Nice big island in the middle of this pond. Perfect for water birds to have a little nest spot in, and the ground is going to kill me. One day where we go out, and it's not so muddy that I am like 50% likely to damage my back. It's, kind of, it's quite a day to be out though, don't you think? Whoa. The wind though is not, not good. I'm gonna try and go away from the ducks so I don't bother them. Someone definitely feeds these ducks. They came over, got on the land, and walked over to me. And now they're waiting to be fed. I didn't bring anything to feed them with. Also, hello. Hi. Welcome. Hello, handsome. A coot has also come over, as well as the Canada geese and the ducks. I'm guessing that everyone gets fed with seed or something. Look at them, they're just... They were on the other side of the lake and they came over, so... And now they're waiting... With this, with... Well, I mean, the geese have quite a hostile look in their eye. That's, that's... I mean, that's just typical for geese. That's just what they look like. <laughs> it's just waiting for me. So, I've got my camera out now, and oh my goodness, we saw something crazy already. There was a bird of prey overhead. I haven't even looked at the pictures yet, because these guys came over as soon as they saw me. Um, I will look at it in a second and be like, wait, I'll look at it now. Hold on. It looks like a kestrel. It's actually a sparrowhawk. He has a brown and white stripy chest, and you can just about see his yellow eyes. And yes, these guys are still right here. One of them is less impatient, they've just sort of going with the flow and taken to eating some grass. But this other one, I think it's the same one that remained staring at me when we first arrived, is, is just watching. Maybe it's the male. Hello. Perfect. Our YouTube really duties have been fulfilled. Now for photos. Oh, black-headed gull, I think, landed in the middle of the lake. I'm gonna check him out because they've got their summer plumage now, a lot of them. That one definitely does. And someone said they saw a Mediterranean gull around here. I'll believe it when I see it. But, oh, by the way, the, the geese and ducks just sort of... They've just stayed. They, they just have stayed and let me take pictures of them. They've both gone to eating now. The ducks are ignoring me. They're asleep uh, while I'm fanning around with my camera. They just don't mind. There, there they are. Look, they're, they've been there the whole time I've been taking pictures. I'm not sure if they get regular contact with people or what, but no one is here. That group of people is long gone, apparently. A lot of people that come to this park don't go to this area because no dogs are allowed. But I'm going to try and get a picture of that black-headed gull. It's very much in the middle of the lake, so it might be tricky. We might have to walk all the way around again. Well, the coot has started swimming away from me. Oh, I got pictures of the coot. He's got a red eye. I really wanted to get his red eye. Where's the coot gone? Yeah, the coot's swimming away. <laughs> and there's... Man, I can't believe how tame they are. 
Okay, first things first, it's so cold. The wind is so cold that it's gonna ruin the audio. And second thing, the, the first, I mean, it was a black-headed gull, not a Mediterranean gull. Black-headed gulls' heads are actually dark brown and they have black tips at the ends of their wings. Mediterranean gulls have black heads, are slightly larger and have white wingtips and a chunkier bill. But my hopes were high. I ran like all the way around the pond. Oh, look, look even sillier than usual. Oh, we're facing away from the sun again. It's because the sun gets in my eyes when I face you. So, 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 so. It was a black-headed gull, but then all the gulls in the pond flew away and there were three buzzards in the sky. I think they were all buzzards. There may have been one kestrel and two buzzards. And, well, I tried my best to get a bunch of pictures of that. And there was a crow following the buzzard. That might have been the other bird, not a kestrel. There was a crow bothering the buzzard. I don't know if I got any good pictures of that, but it was quite entertaining to watch. And as I looked across, there was another guy with a camera out pointed to the skies. Another bird watcher. So, black-headed gulls, when I thought it could be a Mediterranean gull, the picture taking was a little frantic because I was, you know, I was not jogging, but at a power walk around the lake to get to the side that they were on, which is the bad side for the light. The light's coming this way, so I have to shoot into the light with my camera. Friendly geese, moorhens, ducks, uh, kestrel, buzzards, black-headed gull, and uh, crow fine for him. It's been quite a fruitful day, I think. Oh, there's a moorhen running away from me. He's flicking his tail. Flicking his tail up because I'm a little predator. Come here, moorhen. That was terrible. I didn't change the exposure from when I was facing the sky. <laughs> but that is probably all I have for you today because I am going to go sit inside where it is warm because the nicest day of the year, early in the year, is usually also very cold. And it is, it was cold so cold. Anyway, stay tuned for more videos like this one, or wait it out until the next art video if this is not your thing. But if it wasn't, I don't imagine you would have made it. Oh my god. Oh, am I meant to cross that? Right, through the reeds. Through the reeds. Um, like, comment, subscribe. I love you, and I will see you next time. Look at this fallen tree is flowering. What kind of tree is that? Anyone know? Let me know. Anyway. Oh. Bye, yo.